Hi, I'm Steve Dale at the 2009 ACVIM Forum and the Canadian VMA Convention. Dr. Susan Little is a feline veterinarian, president of the Wynn Feline Foundation, and we have something very exciting to talk about concerning your cat at home. Here's the good news. More and more people are keeping, I think, you tell me if this is the case, keeping their cats indoors. We're certainly asking more and more people to consider keeping their cats indoors. So for example, at this meeting, there was some uh, good information presented on how you lower disease risk, for one thing, by keeping cats indoors. So it's definitely a message we're sending to people. All right, so if more and more people are keeping their cats indoors, that's a good news, good news? It's good news. Good news, okay. People also say, well, why do I need to microchip my cat, which is a permanent form of identifying your cat, because my cat doesn't go outdoors. Mm. Is that is that right? It, it's a very good question to uh, to ask. But uh, cats that stay indoors only, I think, n uh, need to be microchipped or permanently identified, and that would be a microchip as much or more than cats that go outdoors. Why? Um, because they have a, they have the same reasons in that uh, if they ever do slip out of doors, uh, and certainly we all know, you know, if you've had pets over the years, that it's not impossible for a kitty to slip outdoors uh, when you'd uh, least expect it. And uh, it may be even harder for those cats to be found because they're suddenly outdoors, strange environment, don't know their way home. Uh, so microchipping is important for that reason. And there's other reasons that people don't always think of. So as a veterinarian, one of the things that's important to me, if a cat is microchipped, I know for sure who that cat is. And it's then easier for me to relate that cat to its medical record, should I ever need to find that cat's medical record. So that's, that's something I think people don't think of often enough. And I know from talking to emergency workers following any disaster, a flood, tornado, fires, whatever it might be, right. or even if it's a natural gas leak on your block, right. and, and the animals must get out, that dogs are generally reunited with their people. It's because of microchips. At least some are microchipped. For cats, virtually any are. Mm -hmm. and, and the chances of being reunited are much, much lower. Oh, that's so true. And those are things that you don't know are going to happen. Um, there are uh, unexpected events. And the only way to protect our pets is to plan in advance for those events. So there's a number of you know good safety tips we can give owners on uh, disaster preparedness. But probably one of the most important is permanent identification for your animal. If you have to suddenly leave your home, you're much more likely to snap a leash on your dog and out the door you go. Cat's a different matter. You know, in the first place, mm -hmm. the cat's going to be hard to find. Yep. in a, a, a crisis situation. Uh, so it's uh, much harder for us to keep cats with their owners and then when they get separated, very hard to reunite them and microchipping just makes such a difference. Absolutely right. And you're, you might not be home in that crisis situation either. So some emergency official goes into your house if they're lucky enough to find the cat Absolutely. and to get the cat, then that cat goes to a central location with 50 other or 300 other cats and it's more difficult to be re reunited. Statistically, that is the case. So. All of that being said, microchipping is a good idea, and Home Again and the Home Again Recovery, Pet Recovery Program has arranged something really special with the Wind Feline Foundation, the second year in a row. Oh gosh, they sure have. We are so grateful to Home Again for doing this program with us because it really has double benefits. It benefits Explain cats. what the program is. Uh, well, the program is uh, an initiative, a public education campaign, to uh, educate cat owners about the reasons why cats should be microchipped. Uh, so we're very interested in that, obviously. And then uh, what Home Again has offered to do is donate one dollar for every cat that is um, microchipped and enrolled in the Home Again Recovery Program uh, this summer from June to August. So it's the second year, as you say, that this program has been running. So not only do we get more cats uh, microchipped, do we get awareness up amongst owners, but then the Wind Feline Foundation gets money that we can use for research to help uh, us with solving some of these difficult feline health problems. Which helps all cats. Explain what the Wind Absolutely. Feline Foundation does. Wind Feline Foundation is an organized organization that was founded in the 1960s and we've been funding feline health research for decades now and in fact we're I think one of the best kept secrets in veterinary 
medicine, and that's something we'd like to change, obviously, because we've been behind many of the major advances in feline health, and veterinarians and pet owners just don't know it. So our impact on feline health over the years has been huge, and we intend to grow that. And one of the ways we grow that is through partnerships with great companies like Home Again. So last year, in doing this promotion, Lots of cats were microchipped as a result. I presume. Over 50,000 cats were microchipped in uh, the campaign months, so that made us very happy. That's 50,000 cats who have a much better chance of being reunited with their owners than they did before, and then also supplied over $50,000 to the Wynn Foundation, which we promptly used to fund <laughs> research. It's already out and working on projects. For further information, the website is? Uh, WynnFelineHealth.org. Or HomeAgain.com or to learn more about the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine, ACVIM.org. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Will.